Hi everyone, so this will be part one of two of my 2500 sub special, which before I start I just want to say like thanks so much for helping me reach this goal and sticking around through all my crazy like multi-month breaks and everything. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll keep this rolling and going further. So uh, part one is going to be a question and answer as I mentioned before. So I'm just going to be playing in the background some uh, just multiplayer games, grinding on my medic. I'm trying to get a trying to get the uh, onslaught map master right now, and I'm getting a friend to boost me so I can also get like more mastery progress for my uh, for snipers so I can get super crit on my medic. So I'm just gonna be playing boosted onslaught regular in the in the background. And this is a live com, by the way, so I might, like, get, I don't know, distracted, probably. So, uh, I guess on to, uh, answering questions. So, uh, I've separated them into, like, SAS-related questions and more, like, me-related questions. I know I said I won't ask, or I won't answer, like, questions about SAS, mostly, but that's, like, that's, like, game-related questions, not, like, my specific experience related, I guess. So I can I can still talk about like favorites of the game, whatever like what I've done so far with it. I don't know that stuff. And then later on, I'll talk about like more me related stuff. Uh, so first off, we got G D Graz asks, "Do you think the game will ever get updated?" Um, I. I can definitely see it getting updated. Ninja Kiwi hasn't like completely abandoned it. Uh, and they still have like they have yet to say with from uh, any emails I've seen. No, we're not going to update the game anymore. So and they they have mentioned like yeah we might update it at some point, but right now we're focusing on other stuff because right now they recently released BTD six and Bloons Adventure Time TD, so they've got to focus on um developing that so uh, I can I can see an update being released like before 2019 but uh I I really don't know I hope it gets updated because there's so many fucking bugs um that I will eventually report all of I plan on making like a huge video or video series of like every bug I can find which right now I've compiled a list of over 50 <laughs> so uh, anyways, uh, 90 asks, I'm thinking of buying a premium gun, should I and which should I get? Well, if you're, if you're gonna use it for leveling up, then definitely, um, Hicks A10, by far my favorite premium gun, like, I, I have the Kelvin, and I still regularly use it on my medic, but, uh, A10 is overall probably the best, it's got, like, 20k DPS without, um, like, just from, uh, Max Augs, Deadly and Overclocked. Uh, and it's only twenty dollars U.S., which is really cheap for such a good gun. Like it, it literally carried me on my medic until like level eighty or ninety when I finally bought the Kelvin. So if you're looking for something cheap and powerful, definitely Hicks A10. Uh, that's a level fifty gun though. For level twenty, I'd suggest probably either the Ronson Five X Five or the uh, Ronson WPX Incinerator. Although I haven't tried that one, I really want to though. I don't know, I probably won't get it though, because I have no need for it. Um, Alan Baird asks, which, gu which gun do you think is the best? Uh, Shockfield is objectively the best. There's <laughs> no, no competition there. Shockfield is... You, you literally have, like, get yourself a max cord black Shockfield with deadly overclocked adaptive bio. You literally don't need any other gun. So, <laughs> Shock Shockfield is by the numbers the best but I personally my favorite guns are Gigavolt overall and uh, Hornet for uh, DPS like Hornet Hornet is not really that good because of the base damage bug with crits which I'll talk about more in another video but all you need to know is that the crits don't stack correctly and they don't give as much damage as they should and I should be killing these things now um, <laughs> this is where the fun part begins. So, Hornet and Gigavolt, definitely my favorites, if you couldn't tell by me, you know, using them. 
despite like Shockfield and Stripper being like objectively the uh, best. Uh, but yeah, guess that's about it. And Savage Devastator, cool. So uh, let's see. Multiple people have asked how long have I been playing SAS4, and uh, I have been playing SAS4 Mobile since five days after it came out. And I believe it was released sometime in like late summer of 2014. Or like, maybe it was sometime in autumn 2014. But yeah, pretty much I've been playing it pretty much since it came out. And even before then, because I played SAS4 on the, the, the Flash version on the Ninja Kiwi site. Since that was like released into open beta in like the early summer of 2014. So... I've been playing it pretty much since it came out. Uh, come on, Savdev. There we go. Oh, Promethium. Cool. Um, let's see. Ubark asks, how old am I? I am 17 plus a few months. Um, I... Pretty sure in the past I've mentioned my birthday. You can go digging through my channel if you want to find that. Oh, 10 to Dragonfly Pants. It's a shame I already have those. Um, now just wait for the next uh, game to be set up. So, let's see, what next? Vane Timona asks, what other games do I play? And, uh... Mm, well, <laughs> the thing is, I, I, I'm either playing this or I'm playing, like, a couple of, uh... Minecraft mini games, which I think I've uploaded in the past. Also, don't judge me; it's fun. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm either playing this or that. Um, mostly Death Run and Sky Giants, which I think I've uploaded both of before. And just need to next game. Okay. Um, so yeah, mostly Minecraft mini games, Death Run and Sky Giants, mostly. Um, but r right now I'm on a, like a huge SAS4 hype, so I'm not really playing those much anymore, which, uh, sort of brings me to another question, if I can find this in my list, um, damn, where'd it go? Uh, but, uh, pretty much it asked, like, what do I, uh, what do I do when I'm not, like, playing games or, like, recording, and, uh, Mostly just being lazy, watching, like, YouTube and shit. Just typical stuff. And the, I, pro I probably do that more than playing games most days. Even though I really should be, like, focusing on this more because I'm trying to, uh... Finish up all the Map Masters by 2019, which I can... I can do with some grinding. I'm, like, 71% to this right now, and I'm hoping to get in the next few weeks before, like, school starts again. Um... All right, next question. Bogoslav Kadyev asks, "Why do I have a picture of a bear?" Um, because I am a bear, dude. <laughs> That's uh, nah, but really, like, I don't know. I started setting my profile pictures as bears in like 2016, and like that. That's just what I did for like ever. I don't like bears. Just like are my favorite animals, so I decided why not. Uh, so that's. <laughs> pretty much the story for a while before 2016 it was mostly pandas but nah bears now uh, and it just sort of became a meme from there that i am a bear uh let's see next up um final form dan asks who is my favorite subscriber and uh <laughs> it, no matter how i answer this 2700 other people are going to be mad at me for not saying their name but uh definitely ben <laughs> Um, Random Slav and Spencer Gmaz have asked, why did I start YouTube? Um, uh, I started YouTube back in, like, 2015, and it was, it definitely inspired by Sean. Like, back when I was, uh, level grinding in, like, the 2014 to 15, like, as I was grinding to level 100 and getting, like, map masters and stuff, um, he was, like, the only sas he was like the only notable sas4 youtuber uh 
who wasn't a hacker, because I think there were uh, one or two big ones that were hackers. Um, and then he, he's also the one that got me into like the Facebook group and got me involved in the community and everything. So definitely Sean is why I started recording. And uh, I need to grab this. Two things of HDA, cool. Um, Sleepy Panda asks, can bears swim? And uh, yeah, dude, of course they can swim. Oh, so you're going to get, like, fish and food. Um, Goku GMD asks, how do you have so much money? Uh, hacks. Hacks is how I have so much money. <laughs> because, you know, that's that's a hell of a lot of money, dude. Not even 400k. I'm rich. Um, JK, so how's your day been? It, it's been a nice day. <laughs> I've been really lazy over summer, though, waking up at, like, past noon. Um, also, you're going to play and record BGD6. Yeah, probably not. I, I'm sort of disinterested in balloons, even though BGD6 probably would, like, be really fun. But I, I have enough games that I'm already addicted to. The last thing I need is more. Um, yeah, here we are. Kyle Van Valkenburg asks, what do you do when not playing SAS 4? Uh, I should be killing these things right now. <laughs> Uh, I, I like to wait until 50 seconds left on the clock to start killing, but, you know, I like to get, I usually get distracted, so whatever. Um, so usually when I'm not playing SAS 4, uh, mostly just aimless internet stuff, and I got a mech, cool. Uh, I don't know, watching YouTube, adminning the Facebook group, um, just <laughs> memes, stupid stuff like that, as you can probably expect from typical person but or you know I'm playing uh, other games I've mentioned uh, but that's pretty much it um, Dijon Wilson asked do you have any siblings uh, yes one brother one sister you can you've probably heard uh, one or both of them interrupting uh, live streams in the past um, and then here, here's some real shit questions. Uh, Carrie W asks, "What's your opinion on the many exploits of the game? Stuff like changing date for tickets, getting early access to events, etc." Um, I mean, personally, like I, I say if they're there, exploit them. And like, if Ninja Kiwi really wanted to get rid of them, they would have uh, patched them by now. I mean, they have patched, uh, they have patched boosting or uh, cloning. But they haven't added an update to the game in like over a year, so I mean, if they're there and Ninja Kiwi doesn't want to patch them, then you might as well exploit them. Um, and I I regularly exploit a few things, mostly the uh, nightmare tickets, just because like nightmare is like one of the few things that like really interests me in the game. Uh, just because it's really fun to just, like, in Nightmare, the, uh, enemies are, like, way more, like, dense, like, there's more stuff to kill, and it's just really fun to just drill through all of them. Uh, so Nightmare is, Nightmare is one of the main things that I play, so of course I would be in favor of the, uh, Nightmare ticket exploit. Um, and there's a few other ones I won't get into that I still do exploit, but... So yeah, I, I say if they're there and Ninja Kiwi doesn't want to update the game, then use them, but should the game actually get updated for Steam, and the, probably most of those are going to go away, so <laughs> exploit them while you can, I guess. Um, and then Captain Hunt asks, how did you come up with your name? Uh, so uh, I'm not really going to get into the full story for now, but... My, my username is very uncreative, as um, anyone who's uh, seen me around Facebook would know. It's just... So, the, pretty much, like, Primo Z is my username for a couple of, like, really old accounts I have. Um, those of you on the Facebook page would know... <laughs> could probably take a pretty educated guess of how I came up with the... Or how that name came into existence. Um... And then, like, from there, I just made the Primo Z my username for, like, everything. 
so it's very, very uncreative of a name, I know, but <laughs> I'm using it for everything now, so might as well keep it right. Um, and then Captain makes a stupid joke about having more subs than me, which, uh, <laughs> see, the difference is I actually uh, play the game still, so I'm pretty sure I would have more subs, dude. Anyways, uh, that's, that's pretty much, oh wait, 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 no, there's one more. Um, Blitzstar asks, what is my real name? And, uh, bears don't really get names, all we can really do is, like, growl, so can't really give other bears names. <laughs> um, but yeah, my real name is actually Primo, I shit you not. And uh, I guess that's about it for questions. So now I just wrap up this game in the next two minutes. Um, yeah, I can't really like jump cut forward or anything because I'm too lazy to actually edit this. So that's uh, that's been about it for questions. Um, otherwise, a couple of people just ask general questions about the game, which like I'd probably mention my Q and A video or my like. Frequently Asked Questions video is incredibly outdated because of some, like, bugs and stuff that have, uh, come to mass attention recently, so I'll, like, probably make an up update for that. And, uh, I guess otherwise future content people can expect is, um, more, more Map Master streams, because I'm getting pretty close to finishing the, uh, Onslaught. And, uh, Maybe speedrun videos if I'm feeling like that, because after this I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a power out, which is very speedrunnable, which includes a few exploits too to make it even faster. I should be killing these things now. Um, so maybe expect more streams soon if I'm not feeling lazy, because I haven't really <laughs> I haven't really felt like streaming in a couple weeks. You haven't noticed, um, and then. Um, this sort of leads me into a, ne a new thing that I've, uh, recently thought of and sort of started doing, which is montages. So, the, I guess the big secret's out now, part two of the subspecial is going to be a nightmare montage, which I have been, um, recording footage for and editing for the past few weeks. So that will be up, uh, shortly after this is posted. And yay, double wicker. That was fun. So, uh, maybe maybe I'll do more of those. I'll probably do like a speedrunning montage for finishing Map Masters, I guess. I don't know. Well, we'll see about that. But uh, otherwise, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for um, 2,500 subs again. And stay tuned for part two. And sell. And see y'all.